Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video because EA just quit. I know this sounds negative, but just hold on, wait a minute, because some of you will be like, yes, how dare you actually laugh on that, man, this is negative news, how dare you making it sound like positive news. Just wait for it, okay, because this is some really good news, not only that they have quit on one Battlefield franchise, they have also announced a brand new game. We're gonna be getting right into the story, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new, and let's get into the story, okay, because breaking, EA just confirmed, they cancel on Battlefield Mobile. <laughs> See what I was saying? See what I was saying? And quickly after, a lot of people started shaking. A lot of people are doing helicopters right now, but uh, uh, sadly, and it's quite sad because the Battlefield mobile community and the mobile gamers, they were, they were sent into coma quickly after, but do we kind of care? Do we kind of care? Absolutely not, okay? Because this is actually some really good news. Sometimes you gotta hold your ground, ladies and gentlemen, but I, I do be feeling a little sad, but still a lot of the console players, the PC players, they're kind of moisturizing. Let Let's keep a buck 50 like mobile games are a disease guys like they, they are shoving so many microtransactions in that so many ads like i don't understand how people can actually compute that but if you play mobile games i got none against you okay you're still a stud muffin you're a stud muffin but sometimes you need that hard pill to swallow ladies and gentlemen and they confirmed they are working on the next battlefield game we got a massive article but this is something really really important and i need to ask you this because this is really as men they always want to label us toxic, problematic, you're wrong. wrong, you're what's wrong with this society. You know, they always want to label us as toxic and problematic. But ladies and gentlemen, I have this very hard question, okay? Before we dive into it, because they have announced the new Battlefield game, the, we know about the campaign and we got a bunch of other stuff, but sometimes it, it, they say just let it go. Bruh. Bruh. It's over. And you can see this man is kind of like, this bag is being Battlefield, right? He's kind of like hanging on to it. And this is kind of like EA right now. A lot of people are saying that and I see where this is coming from. But jokes and memes aside, this man is a respectful guy, okay? I, I can tell that this uh, his parents were uh, teaching him morals while he was growing up. This man was taught morals. This man was taught respect. And I come from a brown family personally. And I, I can tell you that whenever a shampoo runs out, we put extra water in that. And that mofo is good for another month and a half for real for real okay dead ass dead ass and whenever our toothpaste runs out we, we actually buy like clippers and we roll that and we get the we get the sucker out okay we you can say we like to take advantage we like to use the entire we like to make the most of the situation okay drop a thumbs up if you do the same but ladies and gentlemen the question here is that should you let it go because yep it's hanging on to it and uh you know what i mean right like should they let it go should they not but uh ladies and gentlemen check this out okay so not only that they confirmed this, but they dropped this massive article, all right? And prepare to be shocked because, oh yes, oh yes, we made the strategic decision to stop development, wait for it, on Apex Legends Mobile. That's, that's basically oh where we God. are, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people, especially the Apex Legends community, they were like, we did nothing wrong, man. Why you had to quit on that? Why you had to take that away? But ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling y'all, man, this is for the, uh, the uh, uh, this is not from the goodness of their heart. I will translate this, okay? I will translate this, despite Apex Mobile's strong start, the ongoing experience was not going to meet the expectations of our players. Translation, you did not buy enough microtransactions. You're a peasant, you're a menace to society, you are what's wrong, wrong. with society, and you should basically get them all, okay? That's essentially what they're saying. They're saying they have not made enough money, and uh, yeah, this is why we quit, because we're strong, we're independent. And after months of working with uh, our development partner, we have made the mutual decision to shun shed the mobile. <laughs> mobile game our love for the apex universe and our players remains unchanged yo that's cap bro like i some of the biggest cap on planet earth like i just get get that thought okay our 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 players remain unchanged the players have changed your love for the players have changed everything has changed okay but we have good news though listen i'll get to that we look forward to exploring this universe its characters and its stories along with you learn more wait what We've also made the decision to stop the development of the current Battlefield mobile title as the industry has evolved and our strategy to create 
a deeply connected battlefield ecosystem has taken shape v decided to pivot from the current direct uh, direction to best deliver on our vision for the franchise and to meet the expectations of our players that's actually quite good though like i love that i really love that and they also say v remain highly committed highly committed to unlocking battlefield's enormous potential we're hard at work evolving battlefield 2042 and are in pre-production on our future battlefield experiences at our studios across the globe i do like that i really i love that man that's actually really good news and apparently they have also dropped uh, this is another there's another article that i want to show you right i need to know your thoughts on this one immediately okay like guys 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 everybody just gather around okay gather around should they really let it go should they really let the battlefield franchise go because it's over or should they keep persisting because right now they're saying they're gonna keep persisting and i and i love the fact that they're they're also saying that they're not gonna let the battlefield 20 2042 go okay like I, I feel like that for battlefield 2042 yeah they, they should come on they, they should let it go right they they come on, like come on, man. they should let it go but but it's quite wholesome to see that the guy they started the the game with don't be sad it's some sometimes work out sometime or whatever bull squash he said it seems like that they're gonna be holding on to him and they're gonna be giving him all the polish they're gonna be giving him like nail polish and all that kind of stuff in the game and making sure that he's looking war ready because they made those operators so clean that people were like yo how dare you make those operator clean and the situation here is that for, this is gonna sound very very wild okay because tom henderson did leak the fact that the next battlefield game after battlefield 2042 prepare for it okay wait for it it's gonna be a hero shooter hero shooter he said that he said that oh like god. Uh, oh my god oh my god a long time ago especially when uh, i feel like he said that around the time battlefield 2042 came out Bruh. but knowing how battlefield 2042 uh, 42 has received it's very unlikely that's gonna happen i believe right after he said that guys like the they're not gonna be coming out with a new battlefield game in 2023 because it was supposed to come out in 2023 this year this year but it seems like then now that's not gonna happen and it's really gonna happen if i have to take a guess it's gonna happen by the end of 20 uh 2024 maybe that's when we're also gonna get gta 6 as well but another thing they confirmed is that this is something that happened back in september of 2022 he is working on a new narrative campaign for battlefield they did confirm that and another thing that is quite good is uh, which i find very good ea first said it would be building a leto led team when it put respawn boss vince zampella now vince zampella has a lot of experience with the old school call of duty games he also is behind apex legends it's not my cup of tea but a lot of people love that but marcus leto i'm not sure uh, i do not know much about him but marcus leto is a game director on battlefield and he has been asked Asking so many questions for a very long time about the battlefield franchise it really gives me the vibe that he cares for recently he hasn't been really asking that much but he he asked a lot of questions Bruh. especially when everybody was flaming battlefield 2042 but he was holding on to his ground he was asking some nice questions he was uh, keeping his chin up he was going out there he was saying that i'm working on the next battlefield game guys like i'm gonna make the best it can possibly be i'm gonna ask you these questions help me out we as a community we gotta come together so he was doing some nice things and just looking at that and looking at the fact that he was communicating this heavy i feel like that the franchise is really it is really in good hands i obviously could be wrong. wrong because i'm a man and you know if you're a man you're wrong, wrong because we're not strong and dependent right so i could be wrong but i feel like that the tag team uh be the tag team with the tag team with vince zampella and let Bruh. I think it's gonna be good guys, but ladies and gentlemen, they are also shutting this down Click on this video on the screen because some of this is some of the craziest video in the history of gaming Okay, click on this video because there are some couple of videos that I gotta show you or click the video on the left This is on my second channel if you're into horror and UFO content Click on that check these videos out guys, and I will see you right there